welcome back to Pray Shop Cruise. My name is Aitiri. I'm really excited today because today we're going to be talking about my Boot Barn hat collection. So about two years ago, I started getting really into Western gear and Western hats. So I've collected a bunch of hats <laughs> over the past two years. I don't have original pricing on these hats. But they were all purchased from Boot Barn. Hats at Boot Barn can range, uh, can cost you any range between thirty something dollars into the hundreds of dollars, depending on what the hat is made of and who the brand is. Um, a lot of times, hats come in these big hat boxes. Uh, this is a hat by the brand Brad Paisley, uh, who's a country singer, of course, and um, the brand is called Moonshine Spirit. These boxes take up so much space in the home, but they are great for keeping your hats stored. I do purchase a lot of male hats, um, hats in the men's section, because they are roomier and more spacious for bigger hair, bigger heads. They're just big head friendly. Um, this particular hat right here is made of some form of suede so anytime you have a hat that's made of some form of suede or any form of animal if you will um, you need to keep it stored in an upside down position like this ideally I need a hat rack at this point um, because I've just I have excess of hats now uh, just just piled in, in closets and I would love to have a hat rack on my wall where I could just hang my hats up uh, when I came in, but that's not the case right now. So I'm currently thinking of other creative ways and shelving methods, uh, maybe some sort of um, traveling shelving method that I could store my hats with. I'm getting ready to move soon, so I don't need anything too permanent here right now. Anyway, I am very excited to show you guys my hat collection. We'll get right into the video and start with this hat that I'm wearing. So this hat that I'm wearing is by the brand Idlewind. This is uh, was found in the ladies section. This hat is very big head friendly. The first black hat that I purchased from Idlewind, well, the first straw hat. So this is a straw hat um, with the belt chain detailing. The first one I bought was this one, and I'm going to try this one on as well. This one is a lot more thinner, this first one, um, and it is not big head friendly, but I bought it anyway because I love it. I feel like they redid this one and made this one that I have on my head, and it's just a way better version than this first one. This first hat here has a belt chain detailing and a rope. This belt has a tendency to come up and come off if you don't tuck it like I have in the back here. I kind of have the rope and the belt overlapping each other. Um, so, so yeah, here are the two hats in comparison, Idle Wind. I am wearing a do-rag with my hat today. I tend to do that most of the time when I'm wearing Western hats. It just adds such a soul, a flair, an edge to your look. And... I'm, I'm a sorry, not a do rag, a bandana. Bandanas of different colors. I'm a bandana queen. I will usually have a bandana on. So the insides of these hats are made about the same. These two straw hats. You have the the adjustable ties here, which I never use use because the hats are are always too small anyway. Now this one, this bigger size one, doesn't have an adjustable uh, tie but it does have this band around here and the inside is very breathable. I think this band really made a difference for fitting on the head. So I'm gonna try this more narrow one on. They both give you completely different looks. As you can see, this one gives you a different look from the first one. Both of these hats can bend and curl the way that you want them. Now, if you're dealing with a hat that I showed you like in this box here, like this Brad Paisley, those type hats do not bend. You do not want to bend your hat unless they are made to bend. Once you bend some of these hats out of shape, they're out of shape forever. So you want to make sure you take great care of your hats, keep them upside down, 
keep them out of, you know, very harsh, um, very harsh conditions if you can, depending on if you're on a ranch, you're a real cowboy, cowgirl, then you get you one of these durable ones and you take good care of it. But, you know, just be, be cautious of how you treat your, your Western hats. They, a lot of times you are paying a good amount of money for them. So you want to take care of them. Okay. So my next black hat, (laughs) there's a theme here. I love black. My next black hat was also found in the female section of Boot Barn. It's by Cody James. This hat, exclusively available at Boot Barn, these, this Cody James brand. It also says Sedona on the inside there. So it says the Cody James. And it's suede with the belt de- detailing. It's suede, but it's it's something else because it took a year, I'd say a good year, for this to air out and not smell like an animal. And I tried all kinds of things. When I got this hat, it smelled like a cow. I, I, I think it smelled like something on a farm, like a cow. It's so weird. It smelled like that. Um, usually, even if they are made of animal skin, they don't smell like it. This had a very harsh smell, guys. <laughs> this is a suede hat. I will be bringing this out for the fall here. This is definitely your sheriff deputy type hat right here, y'all. This is gorgeous. Uh, because I have my hair in a ponytail, my hair is not with the big curls right now that I sometimes have. It's fitting very nicely. Um, I do have the do-rag on. I wouldn't say this is a real big head friendly hat though. This is not a big head friendly hat. I keep saying suede. It's not suede. These hats are not suede. These hats are felt or wool or something. They're not suede. I keep saying that word throughout this video. That is not true. So please disregard that. Excuse my bad terminology here. I do have one more black hat. (laughs) And I'm probably going to buy so many more. That's the problem. Uh, This one is probably my favorite. This one is by Jason Aldean. uh, Also one of my favorite country singers. Uh, Jason Aldean collection by Resistol. This is how the hat looks on the inside. This is a seven and a half men's hat. This is made of palm leaves, palm something. Genuine Mexican palm is what it says on the inside here. You can't really read that, but there's lettering in here. So this one is very big and in your face. Okay, that's why I love it. Did I get this bent out of shape? Oh my gosh, y'all. This is what I'm talking about. See, because I had this kind of thrown somewhere and I may have bent this front a little out of shape. We might be good. We might, we might not be good. I might have to look at this some more. Yeah, you have to be careful because they will bend out of shape. And I've been kind of tossing these hats around <laughs> as I've been doing different styling videos and creative things. This is one of my favorites. This is a this is a big head friendly hat. This is a size seven and a half. That's what I love about men's hats. You can get the size that you want. This is a size seven and a half in men's. And that palm, Mexican palm, is gorgeous. And I hope that it's coming up on camera gorgeous. This has the wide brim. This is a large and in charge hat. Okay. I've seen Jason Aldean wear a hat like this. Um, he was presenting an award for cmt music and he had on something similar to this i love this hat very large and in charge very foxy i think this is my last black hat of this video (laughs) okay so we're going to get into a a, another straw hat that i've beat up really bad okay uh this hat i've been tossing around in the closet i've bent it I'm wearing an orange watch. You would think my favorite color was orange, but it's actually not. I've just been loving this particular orange this year. And I'm cocking it to the side because it's got some weird shaping going on right now. So kind of helps if I cock it. <laughs> and, you know, you can see the do-rag really nicely there. This hat is by Cheyenne. Country, wear it, mean it. This is how the inside of the hat looks here. This one is very big head friendly. I do have the tie tied. This one was found in the female section. They are usually not 
this big head friendly. If you were to just wear it straight, it has the very high top here that I've bent. I've got to do better about taking care of these hats because they cost too much money to <laughs> get them bent. So, so yeah, this one has the very high top that's bent. I wore it in one of my last, um, my last videos, but I kind of cock this one now because of the shape that we're dealing with and this kind of twirls. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to get to one of my favorite straw hats. This is another one by Cody James, One Size Fits All. This was found in the men's section. I wore this one. Is this the one I wore? Yeah, I wore this one on my cruise this year in February to the Bahamas with mom and pops on Carnival Sunshine. I wore this one on the island. My head sweat bad. <laughs> I was so hot in this hat, but I needed the coverage for the sun. Um, this is the inside. It is breathable, but man, I still sweat. It was so hot. That island heat is different. It's a different type of heat. And you can see the detailed belt. All of these hats came with whatever hat decoration that you see on them. You can buy your hat decoration separately, but I there's never really any need for me to because if I'm doing that, I'm probably just going to get another hat. <laughs> I usually don't switch out decorations. I'm usually just switching out hats. Okay, so my next couple of hats, guys, let's move this. We're found in the female section of Boot Barn. You'll see a lot of these when you walk in there right now. Uh, well, they may be phasing them out for the fall, but I feel like we saw a lot of these in all the stores, not just Boot Barn. All the ladies' hats. I mean, they just brought a slew of these out. <laughs> and I got two of them. I got this tan one with the uh, the beautiful native-like Mexican-inspired design around it. Let's see. You can see how beautiful that looks up close. And it ties there with the jewelry. I love this color, this hat. Everything's fitting me great today. Maybe my head lost some weight or it's just because of how I have my hair. But um, one of my favorites. You can do a lot with this hat. You can take it here, wear it up. Well, I can't, my ponytail's in the way, but you could wear it where you kind of have it up like that. Or you could cock it to the side like this. So, yeah. And I have it in the white. White and blue. These particular hats are by Nikki Beach. Nikki Beach. It has UPF 50 plus. It's made of 100% toy, toyoy. Toyo. Toyo, sorry, 100% Toyo, and it does have the banding, it's like a cloth banding here with the ties, this white is beautiful, beautiful for the islands, beautiful for any pool parties, yeah, okay guys, this one is my most recent purchase from Boot Barn. This is very big head friendly. I got a large, extra large. This one's made by a brand called Brixton. This one was in the female section of Boot Barn and it has this band. Whenever they have these wide bands here, they're going to fit a good head. This, this hat is super high. <laughs> the height of it is super high. This is one of those you're going to get attention if you wear it out. It's just very big. Okay, it's this straw. Okay, y'all, here's another Cody James. I guess Cody James is like my favorite hat person. This is another Cody James in a seven and a half in men's. This, can you hear this? It feels like plastic or no limb. This is one of these hats you don't want to bend. Like, if you bend this one, you're you're out of luck you're not it's not going to bend back this is one of those materials you don't you don't want to bend this this is by cody james i keep this one upside down you can see the belt feature here very beautiful you have the ventilation at this part yeah this is gorgeous Another large and in charge hat. 
this hat is going to go with so many things it already has. I've already worn all of these hats <laughs> throughout the couple of years that I've had them. This is definitely one of my favorites. Big head friendly. Okay, guys. We have an authentic Western headwear hat by Justin. A Midland hat company. This one is a seven and a half. This one is a men's hat. I love this color. And this detailed belt on the side, it says Justin. This is a 100% wool. See these, this, this didn't have a smell and neither did this Brad Paisley one, but that other one, oh my gosh. And it's got this beautiful leather, well, Kind of like a leather detailing around the hat and it's already tied on the inside in the back here you can't really see it i did keep my seven and a half tag in here on some of these this one's very large and in charge again you're going to be seen you don't wear this one if you don't want people looking at your hat you know this is a very beautiful wool hat it's going to transition into fall and the winter perfectly this is going to keep your head warm this is a great one by justin i think this is my only one by justin yeah i have one more hat to show you guys <laughs> i lied i have two more hats because i never tried on this brad paisley hat but before i try on the brad paisley i'm going to try on this last cody james hat i love this one this one is a seven and a half in men. This is made of something stronger than regular straw here. And it's got that beautiful belt detailing around the hat and the tie. It's got a little, little three holes of ventilation here. The shape of this one is very odd. You've got the really huge brim, and then you've got a square. Hopefully you guys can hear that at the top. This one is very, this one is probably the largest, other than that Jason Aldean hat. This is probably the largest, and then that Jason Aldean hat is probably the next largest. This one's big. This one's flapping out. <laughs> I love this. Uh, this would be perfect for a rodeo, um, bonfire, the fall, winter. This is going to endure. Okay, y'all. I have hats everywhere right now. This Brad Paisley cream hat. Oh, my gosh. This is cream on cream. Look at that. Cream on cream. This is like winter white winter cream this is seven and a half brad paisley and moonshine he's got the bandana like inside the silky inside here this is four times felt four times felt yeah you know, this one's clean i have i have i worn this one out I don't remember actually wearing this one out to any events. I think this one actually has been sitting in my closet. I've been so afraid to wear it. <laughs> I have a cream dress I want to wear this with um, that I'll probably wear it with when uh, my mother's uh, company has their atonement dinner function. I'll probably end up wearing this cream with the cream dress that I have. I bought it specifically for that cream dress. Um, I celebrate Passover, Pentecost, and Atonement. Just to veer off for a moment and um, usually for atonement I like to wear cream or all white and so this would be a perfect hat for that this is one of those fancy schmancy going to an event put on a beautiful dress and some boots this is clean right here y'all look at that it's coming up gorgeous on camera it looks like too thanks for watching this video I do have a styling video um, a few styling videos with some of my western hats coming up I will be purchasing more hats 
this year as we go into the fall, mainly from Boot Barn. I do purchase hats from other places sometimes, but I'm a huge, huge Boot Barn fan right now. I don't know when this phase is going to leave me, but it may never leave me. It may never leave me. Um, so I will be doing some more hat hauling very soon. And when I have some more, uh, some more cool finds, I will do a, another video with an updated hat collection. Thanks for watching Cray Shop Cruise. Please come back again. As always, I appreciate you. Stay blessed. Y'all.